guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our van build this is episode three and we are still insulating yes we're tired of it too <laughs> we just picked up another order of this peel and stick duct insulation by the frost king we didn't order enough we used more on the floor than i was expecting so now we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the peel and stick on all the exposed metal that is still showing on the walls we also got a super amazing deal on our countertops just now so i'll show you guys that this week as well hi buddy hi ready to get to work yeah let's do it Josh is just gonna do one more lap around to peel off any of the spray foam now that it is expanded. Um, if it's sticking out past the framing, that way everything is nice and flush. <laughs> Saving every last piece. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm rich. laughs> the van build Scrooge. Welcome back to the ProMaster build and welcome to Solar Day. We finally have gotten in all of our shipments and are ready to attach our solar panels on our roof. This has been kind of holding up, finishing up our insulation and everything. So we're really excited to tackle this project today and bring you guys along. Josh just finished up the framing inside the van on the walls. So we have all of our walls framed out this side as well. There's that sneak peek at our countertops I promised you guys. So while Josh works on installing the brackets before we move our solar panels up to the roof, I thought I would show you guys what all came included with our 300 watt solar kit that we ordered from Renogy. We did not get the premium kit, we got the basic kit. So I'm gonna show you what it came with. This is new for us. I actually learned about this while I was watching somebody else's solar video. I don't think that we used this in our previous build. I'll have to, I, I'm pretty sure we didn't use this in our previous build. But basically this just covers the hole for the wiring that's gonna go through the roof to keep it water protected. We've got all of our cables to connect our three solar panels together and uh, connectors for the batteries and things as well. The 300 watt kit comes with these connectors. We did have to order an extra connector to attach our fourth panel that was not included with this kit. It was just left over from a previous build. Our kit came with a charge controller. We're really excited about the new design on the basic charge controller. Our current one doesn't have a screen. Um, so you don't get an actual percentage rating on what your batteries and your solar are pulling in. On this one, it does come with an actual display, which we're excited about. It also comes with this new Bluetooth feature so that we can set this up and check our solar levels on an app on our phone, which is going to be so convenient. So these are the mounting brackets that come with the kit. So Josh is going to be working on attaching these to the panels first, and then we'll move them up to the roof and attach them to the van.
So these four connections connect to all four of the solar panels and bring them all down into one cord that will go down through our roof and connect to our batteries. We have one more panel in storage that we'll be installing later this week. All right, we just opened up oh, our lithium ion battery and she is hefty, but we're really excited to be making the switch from the deep cycle AGM to lithium in this build. We're excited to get our electricity set up. That means we can use our fan and our lights and it'll make working in here in the summer much more pleasant. Installing these panels, we're trying to keep them all as close together as possible and on the furthest side of the van because on this side of the van, we will be installing a roof deck later on and a ladder down on the back end to climb up and clean our panels and enjoy a sunset. So Josh is just going to be screwing our panels in one at a time as I hand them up and we will be installing the other panels We've got our RV self-leveling sealant, bolts. Josh has his drill, pre-drilling some holes now. Attaching some solar. Right, we've got some tape and some plastic to cover up the wires that are left for the fourth panel um, until we're able to put that on to keep them dry and protected. And then we're done with solar for the day. Yay! It's getting to be about dinner time, so we're gonna take a break. We'll either catch back up with you guys later this evening or later this week, haven't decided yet, to wrap up our solar install and our ceiling insulation. Now that those screws are in, we are gonna seal them from the inside as well so we prevent any and all moisture from getting in the van. We 
We do recommend using gloves when doing this project. We just couldn't find any. <laughs> Squad's all here, and the last solar panel's going on. Doing a little bit of troubleshooting here. This panel doesn't allow for the brackets to fit on the ends like we did on the others but it has a hole for them on the sides. So we're trying to figure out if we can make that work with the space we have left on the roof. The sky doesn't even look real right now. Look at the clouds. Awesome. Build hiccup number two. All right, so our options are narrowed down uh, we're gonna drill some new holes. Okay, we will be doing this very carefully. We've put down some padding to help protect the solar panel from the drill bit once it drills through the metal. Fingers crossed we don't ruin our solar panel. Up. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay? Is the panel okay? <laughs> is the panel okay? It is? Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Now to test and make sure that the screws fit. survives. Honestly, half of building a van is making things work that uh, don't. So, good innovating. We are repeating the same process from the other day to attach the brackets to the panel before we head up to the roof. Girlfriend? Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I said hi. We've got a very ominous looking cloud raining on our parade. Hopefully not literally. Trying to get this done as quick as possible because this is not very discreet, but. Does it look like you care? <laughs> <laughs> we are slowly becoming very comfortable here. <laughs> that is one beautiful vent fan. 
I really like the design of this one a lot better. Yeah. Yes. Porting for duty. Okay, so it is actually raining on our parade now. Um, so you guys are no longer invited outside because my camera's not weatherproof. Um, but we're <laughs> already kind of mid panel install at this point, so I'll keep you updated. Thanks, Ohio. Are these to run them in series or in parallel? Series? These are to order, run them in series, right? We had to order the extra thing to run them in parallel. Sometimes he thinks 